everybody. Welcome to the Carmichael Workshop. A couple of months ago, I took this insert plate off my old Craftsman contractor table saw and installed this zero clearance insert plate as well as the splitters that Microjig sent me to try out. Now, several people have seen these in my last few videos and asked me about them. So if you have an old table saw like this one without a blade guard or riving knife, uh, stick around and I'll show you how I installed these as well as tell you what I think about them. First I removed the original insert plate and after I got that out I tried to put in the new insert plate but it wouldn't fit with the blade all the way down so I had to take out the big blade put in a smaller circular saw blade and then mount the insert plate so that I could start the cut with that smaller blade. Once I had the cut started with the smaller blade, I could take it out and put my regular table saw blade back in. And then put the insert plate back on and then use my fence to hold it down while I continue to finish the cut with my bigger blade. With the insert plate finished, I could start on installing the splitters. Now the splitter kit comes with this drilling guide and the instructions tell you to prepare a piece of wood and attach the drilling guide to it with several screws. This drilling guide helps you make sure that you drill the holes for the splitters directly in line with the table saw blade. There are some markings on the drilling guide that you need to pay close attention to and read the instructions on how to line up your table saw blade with that drilling guide so that you drill the holes in the correct spots. Once you have the holes drilled, you can insert the splitters and then make your first cut to test it out. And if you follow the instructions, your blade should be directly in line with those splitters and those splitters should keep the kerf in the wood open. Well, I hope that quick overview of the installation process gives you a general idea of how these are installed. You just have to follow the instructions for both of them. If you're going to be getting a new insert plate, just make sure you get the right one for your table saw. And also these MJ splitters, they come in both regular kerf and thin kerf size. So make sure you get the right ones that go with the thin kerf or regular kerf blade that you use most in your table saw. So now that I've had the opportunity to use these for a couple of months, let me tell you what I think of them. I bought this plastic insert plate from the Peachtree Woodworking Supply Store, and I think it was about $15 or $20. And it's a perfect fit for my old Craftsman table saw. And it also has these set screws that you can adjust to make it flush with the tabletop. Uh, one thing to note in the back here, there is a hole with a pin in it, and that's what holds it down in the back of the saw. So, uh, other than that, there's not much you can say about these insert plates. Uh, to make it easier to pull out, you might want to drill a hole somewhere where you can grab it with your finger and pull it out. The instructions give you the option to install one or two splitters. So, I decided to start out with two, and since I have limited space back here, that restricted me as to how high I could raise my blade before I start cutting into these holes. And I thought about it and I worked it out where I could raise my blade just over one and a half inches so I could cut through a two by four, yet still not cut into these holes. So that's something you need to think about and plan for when you're installing these. The purpose of these splitters is to keep the kerf of the board open as it exits the back of the blade. You don't want the kerf to close up and the board possibly pinching the back of the blade, which could cause saw marks or burning or possibly kickback. Now, each side of the splitter is marked uh, with a certain marking that tells how much it will push either your keeper piece toward the fence or your offcut piece away from the blade. So just get familiar with the little marks on the sides of these splitters and read the instructions to know when to use which type. Also, this kit comes with some plastic ones that are called Kerf Keepers. And what you do is you take these out, 
insert these little two spacers and then these sit loosely in those spacers and what happens is when the board passes past the blade if the kerf pinches this it will actually pull it out of the hole and this will travel with the end of the board and keep the kerf open all the way across so that's how these work and just read all of the instructions so you understand how all of these work one unexpected benefit I discovered while using these splitters is since I don't have an outfeed table, if I'm ripping a short board, then that featherboard effect will squeeze my keeper piece between the splitters and the fence and hold it there until I can grab it uh, so it doesn't fall on the floor. So that's cool. Also, the zero clearance insert plate, if you install one and it's set for your blade at 90 degrees, if you want to tilt your blade, uh, let's say to 45 degrees to make a bevel cut, you're going to have to remove your insert plate and put on the old insert plate that will allow you to tilt your blade. Uh, also, for the splitters, um, if you're going to cut like a shallow quarter inch groove in a three quarter inch board, for example, then you'll want to just pop out the splitters uh, so that when you're cutting that board, and you're cutting that quarter inch groove, uh, the extra half inch of thickness that you're not cutting won't run into the splitters while you're making your cut. So just pop these out if you're cutting a groove into a board. Since I work in a small shop, it's not uncommon for me to lower my saw blade and use my table saw as a work surface. If you do that, you just have to make sure you remove these splitters because when you put stuff on top of the table, you don't want to bump into them and break them. Now this is the Steel Pro series, but they do have some plastic ones. And I think even with enough force, any of them might bend or break. So just be careful about that. Okay, everybody, there is one major problem that I have with this insert plate and these splitters. It's that if I ever have to remove them in order to make a bevel cut or to cut a groove partially through a board, I can never remember to put them back on. <laughs> Either that or I'm just too lazy to do it. If you look back at my more recent videos, you'll probably notice that the old insert plate is still on my table saw. And that's because I had to remove these uh, in order to make one of those types of cuts. So I need to try to do better at putting these back on after I've removed them. So I think both the zero clearance insert plate and the splitters are good additions to an old table saw like this. I like the insert plate because it helps a little bit with tear out and also thin pieces of wood don't get stuck between the blade and the side like they did with the old plate that had such a big gap. The splitters work well at keeping the kerf open, especially when I'm ripping long two by fours that have stresses inside and tend to close up back behind the blade. Uh, so if you have an old table saw like this, with no riving knife, these splitters are a good alternative. And also I've seen where people make their own insert plates and splitters, so you could try that as well. Well, if there's anyone else out there who has one of these old table saws that doesn't have a riving knife or blade guard, I hope this video gives you a couple ideas on how you can make it a little bit safer. If you have any questions or comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. And I'd like to thank Microjig for sending me the splitter kit to try out. And I will leave some links to some other videos in the video description below in case you'd like to do some more research on splitters and zero clearance inserts. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.